Trump backs down on his threat to close the border or large sections of it this week. More on that in just a moment. But first, we're waiting for DNA results to determine whether a 14-year-old who turned up in Kentucky is, in fact, a boy who went missing eight long years ago. Investigators say people in Newport, just over the river from Cincinnati, found this guy wandering around in their neighborhood looking pretty beat up. He told police he's Timothy Pitson. Timothy Pitson is the guy on the left here who went missing back in 2011. The guy says he had just escaped from two kidnappers in the Cincinnati area. The photo on the right, or I should say the left, shows Pitson back when he disappeared, back in 11. On the right is a computer-generated version of what investigators say he might look like now. Anyway, according to investigators, before Pitson went missing, his mom picked him up from school in Illinois, took him to a water park in Wisconsin Dells. She later killed herself in a hotel room and left a note saying her son was safe with people who would take care of him. And now this. More to come. President Trump backing off his threat to shut down the border this week. The president is now saying that he'll give Mexico one year warning. The delayed deadline comes after warnings of economic disaster should the border be actually shut down. Some of the criticism from the president's own party. Today, the president warned the new deadline is not an empty threat. I don't play games. I'll do it. So we're doing it to stop people. We're going to give them a one year warning. And if the drugs don't stop or largely stop, we're going to put tariffs on Mexico and products, in particular cars. The whole ball game is cars. It's the big ball game. With many countries, it's cars. And if that doesn't stop the drugs, we close the border. Today, the Texas Republican Senator John Cornyn said he called the president himself to tell him that closing the southern border would be a terrible mistake. Analysts say it would be catastrophic for the American auto industry, and businesses in the United States could lose more than $700 million collectively each day that the border were closed. Yeah, but ever don't do that. That's the message from officials in the wealthy San Francisco suburb of Hillsboro. They're suing the owner of this colorful home, which pays tributes to the 1960s cartoon, The Flintstones. The multi-million dollar, 2,700 square foot home features statues of Fred and Wilma, Barney and Betty. But town officials are not amused. They want the owner to remove some of this stuff, including giant statues of dinosaurs and painted mushrooms. They say she doesn't have a permit here and that the property is a public nuisance and an eyesore. A lawyer for the homeowner says officials are being snobby, and that's a quote, and is promising a vigorous fight in court and colorful. You don't need to look near or far to find Celine Dion. She'll be wherever you are soon enough. The singer announcing she will kick off her Courage World Tour in Quebec City in Canada this September. It's her first North American tour in more than a decade. The schedule went up on her Instagram account, account, sending fans into a frenzy, it reads here. Celine Dion will wrap up her residency in Las Vegas after more than 15 years, and she says, don't expect to see her typical Vegas show when she's on tour. Celine Dion also set to drop her 12th studio album in the fall. Uh, Komodo Island will be shutting down to tourists after cops busted a lizard smuggling ring. Just last month, police say they arrested people trying to take 41 Komodo dragons off this island in, in, in Indonesia. That's according to a local newspaper. The reptiles can grow up to 10 feet long and weigh around 200 pounds. They're so poisonous that police say they're a top item on the black market where one lizard can sell for $35,000. Check out more news on Fox News from today's biggest stories on cable, satellite, radio, and right here on Facebook Watch. Live or on demand, I'm Shepard Smith, Fox News, New York.